we can discuss about production of enzyme catalase in this video. So what is catalase? Catalase are enzyme that catalyze the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide into water and molecular oxygen. So what is the use of catalase? So it is mainly used to remove residual peroxide in application where hydrogen peroxide is added for example for the pasteurization or bleaching. And there are different type of catalase, monofunctional heme catalase which is known as classical catalase, catalase peroxidase or also known as atypical catalase and non-heme catalase also known as pseudo catalase. So let's discuss about production of catalase by fermentative method. It involves four steps. First one is selection of suitable microorganism which will give or which will produce catalase enzyme and formulation of suitable culture media for the production of catalase enzyme and production process which include the ap appropriate or suitable temperature, pH and other conditions and finally recovery and purification of enzyme. So first step is selection of microorganism. So as we mentioned before the criteria for the selection of microorganism is the organism should produce maximum quantity of desired enzyme that is catalyzed in short time and the amount of other metabolites produced should be minimum. And these are some important examples of microorganism which are mainly used for the production of catalase. Example for bacteria are Pseudomonas originosa, Bacillus subtilis, Staphylococcus and Micrococcus species and Enterobacteriaceae like Klebsiella and Cerisiae. And examples for fungi which are, which are used for the production of catalase enzyme are Aspergillus fumigatus and Candida albicans. Now coming to the formulation of culture media, as we mentioned before the media should contain all the necessary nutrients which are required for the production of respective enzyme. So in case of production of catalase enzyme, the carbon sources used are glucose, starch syrup, soluble starches and nitrogen sources like ammonium salt, nitrate salt peptone, meat extract, yeast extract, corn steep liquor, soya bean powder and minerals like phosphate, magnesium, potassium, calcium, cobalt, zinc, borate, molybdenum and copper salts. And the different method for the preparation of inoculum is slant culture method, liquid seed culture method and basic flask culture and this is mainly performed before the production process in order to get the sufficient number of microorganism. So in slant culture the in this it will inoculate bacillus species onto a surface of agar culture and it will incubate for 10 to 12 hour at 37 degrees Celsius and then we will store this land at 4 degrees Celsius after what regularly transfer the bacillus species to new slant to maintain the bacterial strain. In case of liquid seed culture, inoculate the bacillus species grown on a slant culture in tin 50 ml of liquid seed media in a 250 ml culture flask. Then culture the bacteria at 37 degrees Celsius for 12 to 14 hour with the rotation speed of 200 rpm to make the liquid seed culture and another one method for preparation of inoculum is basic flask culture method in this we have to add 6 percentage or above liquid culture to, ba uh, to 80 ml of basic fermentation culture in a 500 ml culture flask and incubate at 37 degrees Celsius at 200 rpm for 36 to 40 hours. So this is the most commonly used method for the preparation of inoculation basic flask culture.
Now these are the composition of the culture media for catalyzed production with uh, uh, while we are using the bacillus subtilis as microorganism glucose 10 gram sodium nitrate 5 gram magnesium sulfate 0.5 gram sodium hydrogen phosphate 9.52 gram potassium hydrogen phosphate 0.6 gram ferrous sulfate 0.0026 gram and distilled water up to 1 liter and finally we have to adjust the pH to 7 to 7.5 and we have to sterilize before using the culture media and this is the, uh, a general media for the uh, or composition of general media for catalyzed production if we are using bacillus species glucose 3 percentage peptone 0.5 percentage yeast extract 0.2 sodium dihydrogen phosphate dehydrate 0.57 percentage potassium hydrogen phosphate 0.61 percentage ammonium sulfate 0.3 magnesium sulfate heptahydrate 3 percentage and inorganic salt like iron manganese zinc copper co copper molybdenum and borate uh, in respective amount and finally the distilled water is made up to 100 ml now coming to the third step that is the production process and uh, the production of alpha amylase is mainly performed in 3 liter stirred fermenter with an working volume of 1.8 liter fermentation medium and to this fermentation medium we will add 5 percentage concentration of 12 hour old basic flask culture inoculum that we had prepared uh, previously and then we will incubate this culture which containing 1.8 liter of fermentation media with 5 percentage volume by volume concentration of inoculum with 12 hour old in stepwise temperature control. That means we have to incubate at 37 degree Celsius for first 10 hours then at 35 degree Celsius for next 10 to 12 hour and finally at 32 degree celsius after 20 hour with an condition of pH 7 to 7.5 with an aeration of 1 volume per, uh, per volume minute and with an shaking speed of or rotation speed of 400 rpm for a total fermentation period of 48 to 53 hours. So these are the split up of the different stepwise control for the uh, production process of catalase 48 out of 48 to 53 hours first 10 hour with at 37 degree celsius then 10 to 20 hour at 35 degree celsius and 20 hours for 32 uh, degree celsius and we can add proteinase inhibitors in order to increase the catalase production at 36 hours of fermentation so uh, approximately half of the hour we will add proteinase inhibitors in order to increase the production of catalase enzyme. Now coming to the last step production and purification of enzyme. So after the completion of culture media uh, it is recovered by centrifugation moses that is after 58 hour it is recovered by centrifugation and this is suspended in 50 millimolar phosphate buffer at the pH of 7 to concentration of 20 percentage wet cell per total weight and then it is mixed with 300 ppm of lysozyme which is an enzyme to uh, lyse and then we will incubate at 30 degree Celsius for 1 hour to affect the lysis. So after the lysis uh, we have to filter after the filtration treatment using dia diamet diatomaceous earth the resulting filtrates are further freed for remaining cell by passing through the membrane filter of sterile filtration and then concentrated using ultra filtration membrane having nominal molecular weight cutoff of 600 Dalton. Then the enzyme the resulting enzyme is purified by firstly subjecting the enzyme solution to ammonium sulfate precipitation to obtain a fraction of 35 to 50 percentage ammonium sulfate saturation applying fraction of DEAE cellulose fine a 500 column then eluting the enzyme with the gradient of 0 to 0.5 molar sodium chloride in 50 millimolar phosphate buffer then purified preparations 
was desalted by de a dialysing age against 50 millimolar phosphate buffer using cellulose tube N30 and the finally the enzyme is subject to lyophilization to get a solid form of enzyme preparation. So, uh, the recovery process is lengthy one we have to recover it then we have to suspend in 5 molar phosphate buffer at pH 7 and we have to add lysozyme uh, in order to lyse the cell and we have to again filter by uh, diatomaceous air and finally through an sterile ultra filtration membrane and then we have to add sodium sorry ammonium sulfate to precipitate then we have to elude the enzyme with the gradient of 0 to 0.5 molar sodium chloride and 50 millimolar phosphate buffer and then we have to desalt by using dialyzing against 50 millimolar buffer solution and using cellulose tube and finally we have to lyophilize to get solid form of enzyme preparation. So that is the production of uh, catalyzed enzyme. Now coming to uh, applications of catalyze it is mainly used in the food industry as a biosensors and uh, uh, precipitative anti corrosive agent removal of uh, hydrogen peroxide from beverages and a uh, functional food and bioremediation and other applications. So, in food industry uh, the catalyzed enzyme from the aspergillus niger is used to removal of hydrogen peroxide from pasteurized milk as well as dairy effluents and also used as a preservative. Then catalyzed from bovine liver uh, is used for the detection of calcium in milk and water samples and again for detection of infected milks and also used as an antioxidant properties. And in case of uh, uh, bioremediation, uh, uh, the catalyzed enzyme from bacillus species is used for the degradation of hydrogen peroxide and also degradation of phenolic compound and cell based system for removal of hydrogen peroxide from effluents. And in medical, uh, the catalyzed enzyme from human source is used for immunomodulatory potential and also for the removal of hydrogen peroxide from the blood and for the cleaning of contact lenses and inhibition of tumor growth and artificial uh, as an artificial blood substitute. And uh, for the pharmaceutical uh, applications uh, at catalyze uh, from bacillus pumilis is used for the preparation of sulfoxides of beta lactamase and enzymatic polymerization reaction as well as biotransformation reactions and uh, this other uses includes uh, artificial enzyme powdered microfishes and prevention of bio corrosion and catalyzed breaker uh, based micromotors. So these are the different applications of uh, catalyzed enzyme in food industry, in therapeutics, miscellaneous, environmental and pharmaceutical applications. So, that is all about the catalyze production and applications. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.